guys, it's Upshatter here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Today, solar panel time, I would say, I think. Uh, let's actually make some solar panels, we haven't made any. Um, apparently, is our drill? Uh, I, I guess we stopped the drill, right? He's, the drill is... Yeah, it's not even close to all the way down, so... Drill have turned on again now? It's turned on now. Ah, oh, good that I remember that because, uh, you know. And now we go down again and let's see. Fill it up some more. Then we can get our production back up again. But yeah, today we're gonna fit some solar panels on this behemoth um, at strategic locations. And also, last time I, after I stopped recording, I did a little tour around the ship and I realized the roof is actually not quite finished yet. It's like we, we did this side of the roof, but we didn't do this side, which is kind of, you know, <laughs> we should do that probably. Also the cockpit at the front is not quite finished yet at the, at the top. So yeah, still things to do. But yeah, there you go. So we can stop that in a minute here. And stop. That's perfect. Okay. So yeah, just to show you what you, what I mean. Like, see? This whole part. I mean, you, you can see the issue. I did this part and then I was like, mm, yes, okay. It, it's a, that's a proof of concept and then I'm done. Oh, actually, the cockpit, I did weld that last time afterwards. There were still some blocks here unwelded. Okay. Good. Let us, um, let us, let us see solar panels, eh? I'll, uh, let's just add four of those into the build planner and then we'll see where we end up. Can we place them? Do we have the, the means to place them? Not quite sure. We do. Okay, cool. So, I think I said over here would be a good spot. Now, question is how many of those? We could probably fit two. Right. Easily. So, and so. Then we could also fit two more on the other side. Just reversed. There you go. Lovely. Um. Oh yeah, we have the the entrance at the back here. Ooh, that that looks so nice with the freaking sun coming in through the blinds there. I love it. Lovely. Okay. Up and below, and there you go. Whoop. Get the rest. Well, not quite. Uh, do we have... We do have bulletproof glass, I believe, right? I think the one panel is completely finished. With... Yeah, with bulletproof. It's good. It's also smart that I'm welding the ones on the side that actually has no contact with the sun. That's a very smart move of me. <laughs> Typical. But yeah, there you go. Uh, what? This is like a parkour here. If you if you try to complete this fast, you know, very dangerous, as you as you might be able to tell. All components withdrawn. Very good. Oop. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this, even though the solar panels will not do like a ton, it's it's just a little bit of help that we'll get. You know. And I like that. Okay, let's grab some steel plates. Ouch. And then we'll start working off that top. You know? And get that into shape again. Should be fairly easy because we can literally just peek over there. And also, maybe I'll add some more, like, design elements to the crane thingy here. 
you know, as well. That, that might be a thing. So, let's just, uh, let's just keep rolling here. Lots of welding to do. But, uh, we are, we are drawing to a close. More sooner than later, you know? That's nice. The progression has been quite steady. It feels like a lot faster than, than the other big project, our, our capital ship. But I think our capital ship was way bigger than that. To be fair, you know. Okay. So I have to weld these as well, otherwise we'll fucking miss them. And then I guess we'll just start at one end and then just... It will flow naturally into the rest. For example... This one we can just draw all the way up until it meets up with the top level. So that's that's easy. And just do that till we meet at this level. Yes. Correct. Cool. Good start. Okay. And then basically we have normal ones here normal slopes in the corner we have one of these uh not one one of these one of these like super corners square corners whatever you want to call them not sure what they're called here we go like that and then this is just yeah this is just normal stuff here normal progression of the uh the pattern makes sense okay it's corners again now I'll have to take a look but I think it's just yeah just all the way up this one as well it's, there it is another one and then I think another one Obviously below that has to be a normal block. I think that's right. Maybe. Yeah, that's the last part. Okay, cool. Let's start just welding this stuff. Then we'll add to it afterwards a bit more. And we ran out of blocks anyway, so there you go. Uh, uh, Jesus, I'm getting confused. Getting confused in my own home, so to speak. Okay, but it's almost done, the solar panel production, so it will then kick back into steel plate production, which we'll need. Good. That layer done, and then we can fill the, in, uh, the inside with just normal blocks and weld those as well. Once we have this find the outside edges, we can just fill her up. It's like that. Hey. Right. Energy low. Yeah, we'll swing by the med station afterwards. And now is over here. Yes. That's actually very easy to find thanks to the signs. <laughs> Some more plates. Are we running out of oxygen? Uh, hydrogen? Uh, we was still two bottles in. So. Or we're one bottle in. Two bottles left to go. So that's fine. So after that, that's one more layer. And then we are up to date, I think. Then we can take a little look-see around. And then find out what else needs to be done. I think... From this point onwards, it's literally just armor. Um, well, armor and form giving blocks and some solar panels, I believe. There's not much else. I might put some, like, um, lights somewhere on the exterior, you know, like blinking lights. And maybe some, some spotlights, stuff like that. Oh, guns. Maybe guns. Guns might be added. Um, I think we have capacity to actually, you know, have some guns on this ship and actually connect them properly to a conveyor. I think we, we should be able to do so. 
but we'll have to kind of figure it out. It's kind of an afterthought on this one, but, you know, it might be nice to have, like, a, a gun or two. You know, like, two anti-air guns, kind of like Gatling guns for anti-air, and then one bigger gun for tank-to-tank -tank combat, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, so this just flows straight into here. Then I think here it's one of these corners again. Same here. Then we're just dealing with... Uh, the normal fare, I think. Like that. Looks correct to me. Fill that up. And then, yeah, we'll also put some solar panels on top of here. Definitely. That's definitely also going to happen. At the moment, they're not going to hit much. Or they're not being hit much. But as we travel, this will obviously change. Because the position of the sun will change um, in perspective to us. So, yeah, that will be useful maybe in the future. Also, just thinking of, you know... I think I still haven't uploaded my capital ship to the workshop. Maybe I should at one point. And this one too, because I, I actually kind of think this is a cool little cruiser thingy. Is it effective or efficient? Probably not. But, you know, if I want to be efficient and effective and, you know, like, maximize my my potential and everything, then I would play Factorio or something like that. This is not the game for that, I think. This is more about, you know, just having fun. Having fun with your own designs, with your own... with your own things. Making up the story as you go along. That kind of thing, you know? What Minecraft used to be, I would say. <laughs> Alright. Last finishing touches on this one. Then we should be fine on top. Uh, probably some more. Yeah, of course. We do. Ugh. I'm getting the hang of, like, navigation in here, you know? How far I can drop down, when do I need to activate the jetpack. It's nice, it's nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Okay. Cool. So, let's just take a look from the top. Yeah, that looks perfect to me. Cool. Very nice. Okay. Um, let me grab some... Actually, we can place them down already. So let's just see what we're working with, base-wise. Oh, that's awkward. We cannot really use the length here. Or, or the this area. Because it, it will look weird. We can use this area, though. And this area, of course. This is probably the area I which should put in some um, solar panels. Kind of like, you know, like this. And then maybe right next to it. Or do we want to have a little thingy in between? To be fair, I wouldn't know what to, what to put in between block-wise. But yeah, there you go. Okay, let's... Start welding these up and then add them to the build planner. I also want to, um, I think an antenna would be nice to put on here as well. That's kind of missing still, so we have to take care of that. And maybe an ore detector. We don't have one of those yet, so that's also a smart idea, I think. So, now that I'm thinking of it, there's still, like, here and there, there's still a functional thing that we can add, you know? That will give us a little bit more an edge. So, yeah. Maybe we should do that, then. Uh, cannot withdraw. Okay, we don't have space, I see. And maybe some more, uh, more of these bad boys, you know... Just in case a storm comes by again. Or we might just do that when the storm comes, actually. And we'll just stress at that moment and just freaking, uh, you know, panic mode. And then stop the whole thing with, with uh, decoys, just in case. <laughs> okay. 
go. More solar panels up. Nice. Now, yeah, see here, this looks awkward to me. So I wonder if I should put like something like this in between, even though it's not perfect, but at least it gives it a little bit of structure. Even though that technically does kind of inhibit, you know, prevent here to to be fully in the, in the sun when it comes at this angle. So it's it's not perfect, I suppose. Okay. Nice. That's done. Ooh, hold on. Let me let me check something real quick. Uh, where was that? Access panel. Oh, okay. No, they're super flat, so they won't look that good. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Can we put something else there? I don't think so. Don't think there's much here to, to help us. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Now, this the thingamajig. Now, I think maybe, you know, this having these is a bit too much. You know, it's a bit too thick. But I think we could run with um, the half size. No, not these. Uh, the half sized blocks. I think that would look fairly nice. You know, kind of like that. And on top, just. Whoop. That. This will be, you know, kind of. Not covered, but kind of. No. Boom. It's like a little armor carapace uh, around it, or above it at least, you know? I think that's nice. Let's get some more steel plates, just a bunch more. And then afterwards we'll decide where antenna and um, ore detector will go. Maybe we'll place some more stuff on this one as well. I'm not sure yet. You know, because I like that you can see the conveyor here. I like that. But I don't like that it's open on one side and closed on the other. So we will use our light armor panels to uniformly make these appear in a, in a very specific way. So we don't have any weird offsets here that, or any weird like differences. So use that to make it a little bit more clean. You know? Just like that. Excellent. Rest is fine in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can leave that. Now, antenna. The problem, of course, with the antenna is if it's higher than a one of these, it will actually attract attention from lightning. So that's a bit suboptimal. I do have an idea where it could go, where it's definitely not going to be hit by a by a lightning strike. It's a bit of weird placement, but it I'll have to see. And then we also have ore detector. That's probably going to be somewhere on the inside. But this. We could place it like here. Know what I mean? Is that weird? Because like this, it's it would be protected quite nicely, actually. Because the thing is, if I place it somewhere here, it's gonna get caught by lightning. At the back, I don't really have space, and I don't want it to stick out the back like that. I don't like it on on ground vehicles, let's say, on on aircraft and stuff like that. I'm not too bothered by it but here so i think this is actually quite clever placement here don't you think in my opinion that's a fairly clever placement so we'll do that for now and when it comes to the ore detector i have the feeling ooh, oh maybe here this might be boom 
That's exactly where the ore detector could go, right? The problem is, of course, this here. However, we can kind of um, remedy this by replacing this with a conveyor block instead. Which then will be... Oh, this actually goes way down. Oh yeah, that's right. At the bottom, I forgot. Uh, sorry, I just... There, this direction. That. And we'll place that here. That's gonna be, you know, nicely tucked away. I like that. That's almost like I planned for it, but I didn't, I swear. <laughs> okay, let's put everything away, get all the components we need, hopefully. Okay, all for the antenna then. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, of course, that's a lot of large pipes and such, so yeah. Stuff for here again, okay. Move in for that. I don't think we have... Um, we probably don't have any radio components, so we need to make some of those. Not sure if we have the resources to make them, actually. Let's see. Radio. So they need... Oh, yeah, we do. We probably do. So that should be 40, technically. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh... Then this needs detector components, so we need 20 of those as well. Check that. Uh, detector... Nick... Do we have nickel? Yeah, we do. Okay, good, 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 good. I was, I was concerned there for a second. Out any reasoning. Okay. Yeah, that will take a while. These things are heavy. <clears throat> well, the sign is at least correct. Well, to be fair, it says clang incidents. It's not a clang incident. Although I'm pretty sure that clang, I clanged quite hard when I hit my head against the freaking thing. <laughs> to be fair, you know. Okay. Oh, let's get back up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, just uh, two or three more trips. Probably three, honestly. Uh, uh, Eleven, I think I can carry. Yes. Now we have nine that we can carry up. Oh, okay, the detector components are super small. Cool. Booyah! Or detector ready. Very nice. Now, the antenna. Ready. Awesome. So that works. Um, right. Let me just go in here. Ore detector. Let's just put him on max range here. 150 is freaking nothing, isn't it? At least it shows us what, what's below us, you know? And then the, the antenna. Uh, let's just increase it to a lot. That's fine. Fine with me. Um, very good. Very good indeed. Hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's, let's just take a few steel plates and let's take a little trip around to see where we still need to fix things and where there's still... Uh, things to be completed. So at the back here, we have obviously still a little bit of plate to wield, to weld, and then these the housing cases for the um, the turbines. I'm not 100% certain on the design yet. And then obviously over here, we still have also some some uh, base plates to do, and then the whole uh, mud guard slash wheel well kind of construction over here, and then at the front as well. Uh, on this side, we also have this corner left, and again, uh, on all of these, the, uh, the housing of the turbines is not yet clear. But, as you can tell, we're getting to a close. So, what I would say, we have to design like two different like housings anyway, because these will not fit into anything else. 
So I would say let's just start welding here because then, you know, once this corner is complete, I will then start looking at this, uh, the housing. But I, that's probably one of the things I'm going to do last for the simple reason that um, I don't want to just fold the freaking things down just to, to make the housing work. Um, I kind of want to, you know, at least get to the bottom of our ore deposit at the moment that we're at. And once that is done, we'll, we'll start to move again. And then when we fold them in, that's when we're going to design the casing, so to speak. So yeah, that's the plan here. But for that, we need at least to have the base plates under the freaking... Uh, the antennas fixed and ready to go so antennas turbines of course so yeah i'm also thinking maybe i'll just rig up some basic um hidey plates here so you know that we don't accidentally fall down so to speak so probably just gonna do that as well at least you know like here where we can walk so we can actually walk over this with no trouble i mean there's still this, but I could put a railing around this. That probably would... You know what? That's actually a good idea. You know, kind of a safety feature, if that makes sense. And then on the bottom, we'll also, um, you know, just hide these things away because they don't need to be visible. This needs to be, obviously, unobstructed. But the rest of this doesn't need to be visible from below. So we'll just hide it away like that. Excellent. Let's continue on here. Again, we're getting so, so close to finishing this. I mean, yeah, the, the whole Mudgar thing on the other side, that'll take a bit. But we're getting really close now. Especially now I have the feeling we're about to complete all the like functional or we have probably already completed all of the functional things and now it's just essentially decoration and you know just some nice nice to haves oh you know what i'm, I'm actually gonna change the way that it's over there in a second because you know i was kind of annoyed with this but now that there's railing around it it actually looks quite nice I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change this to a catwalk. That makes so much more sense now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Catwalk with one railing at the side. Boom. Yep, get some girders. G -g 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 girders. There you go. And then you can still look down there. You can see the green, you know, if everything's working nice. Then over here, we'll also add the um, the railing, just in case. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. That looks good. Very nice. I like it. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's grab some more plates and uh, finish this off by at least completing that one corner. And then next time, I guess... We'll do some more mining because I think uh, our yeah the inventory is actually completely empty. So we next time we can start mining more, and then once we're at the bottom, we'll retract that drill and get down our our turbines, retract them properly, and then we'll uh, design the like the protective casing, the protective housing of these turbines. Oh, it's not a housing; it's just like a little thing that they can nest in, so to speak. Um, and then I think we're finished. I might just, you know, put some decorations up, you know, like, for example, the, uh, what I really like to do in, in environments like that is to place like the, uh, the crates like over the, all over the place. It looks a bit more busy Energy. and also it takes away from not from the symmetry of the whole craft, but it makes the thing feel more distinctive. You know, because if things are uh, like symmetrical, sometimes they feel boring because all everything looks the same. But if you then put like decorations up that differentiate the 
the sides, I think that makes a whole bunch of difference then. So that's probably something I'm gonna do as well. And the turret question is still, you know, unanswered. So that's also something I'm definitely going to take a look at next time. Um, because I have the feeling we could probably just run a conveyor down through the cockpit. Because there's so much space in there. You know, unused space essentially. Like down here, through here, into um, the big container. And then have a, or maybe either in directly into here or we'll have some sort of like weird little cross section with a filter where ammo goes up and then gets fed into probably on top of the cockpit if i would play something there it's probably going to be a big cannon honestly like probably a cannon turret but front facing you know a big big ass cannon to engage whatever tries to be in our way mother nature for example and um <laughs> then we'll uh we'll slap that on top and i think that will be fine so yeah that's also something we can do next time so yeah look at that from here the vehicle almost looks finished doesn't it i love it okay cool guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and uh take care <laughs>